everyone, it's Anne here from Anne Makes. Welcome to uh, my channel. If you are new here, please don't forget to click on the Anne Makes at the bottom of the screen so you can be subscribed and also click on the bell icon uh, so you can be notified every time I post a new video. Today I have a another Dollar Tree haul to share with you. Yesterday was the last day of July, July 31st, and I had some driving around to do. I had to bring my son out for shopping, and I stopped at Dollar Tree because I needed specifically some items for a project that I am working on. So on this channel, if you are new here, you will see me do a lot of dollar store hauls, of course, and art store hauls, and yeah, because I am a professional collector of arts and crafts supplies, and I also work in the industry. I work for manufacturers and retailers whose specialty is the arts and crafts industry and so I have a lot of stuff and I'm constantly working in that and it's also my hobby. So today, uh, like I said, I'm sharing with you the Dollar Tree haul that I did yesterday and um, I'm laughing, sorry, because my cat is distracting me right now and uh, she's being very funny. Um, I went to Dollar Tree to get some foam core boards. I went to Dollar Tree to get these foam core boards. I got three of these and they're very big <laughs> i think they are 20 by 30 inches if i'm not mistaken something like that and i bought three of those because i already had two more at home and i will be uh working on making this thing that i that I designed myself and uh, measured, and I did a lot of math to figure out how many pieces I needed in which sizes. These are all the pieces I have to cut for this uh, thing that I'm making. So it's custom made. I'm not the first one to try to make a, a marker storage for her markers, but I uh, and this one is custom made for me for my own needs. So I had to get some foam core board for that. And in addition to that, I got a brand new utility knife because uh, the utility knife I have now is a little dull. And as I was cutting the foam core I already had at home, I was making a lot of little jagged edges and I didn't like that. So I, I know that a fresh blade, sharp blade, will make for nicer cuts. So I got that just for my project. As well as I thought I would try the foam glue from Craft Medley. I have never tried gluing foam core with this, um, but a foam board with this, uh, but uh, I want to test it on a little piece of scrap. And if any of you have had any success with this with foam board, please let me know in the comments below. I would appreciate that. But I probably will also be using my hot glue gun. So I also got this glue. I tell you, I'm armed with glue for this project uh, because I will be trying different things to see what works best. I have used this adhesive fix all cement glue in the past and it worked really, really well. I'm sure it will work fine on foam board, but I want to test it out on some scraps first. So those are items that I absolutely needed for my project. Plus, I also picked up some all white. This is their the cheap duct tape that Dollar Tree sells just to finish the edges of the foam board. And I also just got some regular tape like this to help me hold the pieces together as I'm gluing them. So hopefully I have everything I need and uh, can go forward with my project. And if it's not too ugly and it does work, I will show it to you in another video. So uh, as I was in Dollar Tree and I knew Kitty was low on treats, I picked her up a couple of these Purina Love Tartar Control Little Cat Treats. I got her this one, which is 
a great taste crunchy chicken and seafood Woo! and uh, seafood for my cat and then this one is what is this one oh this one is tuna crunchy tuna flavor so got that for kitty I don't know what it tastes like and I'm not gonna find it uh, in the as I walked through the aisles I saw they had these wall jumbo stickers and these caught my eye because of the themes on here this is basically traveling through Europe uh, theme you could see the Eiffel Tower from Paris and the Lon London Bridge so you have uh, London and uh, Paris France on one side and here you have Rome and Italy on the other and on this sheet uh, it's basically maps maps of London Paris there's even a little map of New York so uh, and symbols from New York so I thought this is really cute for uh, yes for decorating walls but if you're a traveler and you you, you know the, that might be something you'd like but I also thought this could be used in any kind of memory album photo album scrapbook album uh, a planner a journal a art journal uh, as some embellishments so and um, well little little uh, thing here is uh, we have an upcoming trip to Europe that was uh, kind of schedule at the last minute so uh, yeah so I wanted I saw these and I thought oh it's good timing I also bought another bottle of the all-purpose first choice all-purpose cleaner with bleach and it does a pretty good job so I just grabbed another bottle I saw the pineapples at this Dollar Tree that I was at so I picked up a white one I thought this would fit in with some of my decor and yeah so I just picked up this little white ceramic pineapple I wonder if you could fit a little candle on here too it's not very flat though but yeah got that I finally saw the hooks that I've seen so many people haul the wall hooks so I love this pink one here and this one will probably, I'll try to find a spot for it here in the studio because I love pink. And I also got the blue ones. And I thought these might look nice in the boys' bathroom because uh, I think it's time to update the, <laughs> the their bathroom, maybe take down the SpongeBob. Uh, Looks and put up something a little bit more adult like. <laughs> so I got that. Speaking of being totally adult, I picked up some cars, uh, little toy cars. I picked up this cute little green one and the little red pickup truck uh, for future Christmas decorations. And I also picked up a little bit of dollhouse furniture. For making some little decorations uh, down the road fairy gardens little miniatures all sorts of yeah little DIY crafty projects I picked up this package of little pink party hats um, just because I thought these would be fun to have for a girls gathering you know to have a little party <laughs> that would be fun and more pink stuff I got. I saw so many people haul these and I found one. It's the uh, pencil case with the shiny sequins. This is not the, the other sequins I've seen other people haul, but uh, I really like this one and it's pink and it's shiny. It's pretty, it's girly. So, and I use tons of pencil cases. So I will be using that one too, I'm sure. I also finally saw the Crayola, Crayoligraphy, Crayoligraphy, uh, easily learned the art of Crayola calligraphy, and so I picked that up, I thought it might be fun, I have taken calligraphy classes and hand, hand lettering classes, and uh, this I thought would be good practice, uh, this is really intended for a younger 
younger crowd who is just, you know, to me this is more cursive writing than actual calligraphy, but the base, the base is there. So uh, I think it's, it's a really nice basic introduction to uh, hand lettering and it'll be fun for me to practice. I actually bought two copies so I'd have more sheets to practice. And this Dollar Tree had some more magnetic sheets. I don't know if they found these way in the back room, but uh, yeah, I got some magnetic sheets. Uh, and by the way, I'm in Canada, so the items in Canada are $1.25. And the other thing is, I this first time I see this in the Dollar Tree in my area is this collection of creativity in crafting projects, craft products, and that everyone's been going gaga over. And so I saw them and I said, oh, I'll see what the hype is about. And you know, yeah, they're nice. So I got some, there's only six sheets in here. I don't find you get quite a lot for your money. Uh, they are pretty, but you're probably getting only six sheets because of the gold foiling. And so I got a couple, a few packages of that. I got a package of the tags. There's 24 tags in here with the gold foil and craft. I also got a package of the little uh, cards and envelopes. Are there envelopes in here? It's hard to tell. Little like little gifts cards. And this one has cream cream colored cards as well as craft ones. And I picked up a few more of these artist canvases in the landscape size because uh, yeah, a viewer said that she uses these for landscapes and I thought why didn't I think of that? So uh, yeah. I got a few more of that for future projects and I don't know if this is there was some washi tape it it might have been new washi tapes or deco decorative tapes but I I wasn't sure if they were new they they had just put out these new full strips of tapes and I wasn't impressed by most of them except uh, I picked up this wood one, wood grain one, and the music note one. So, and I thought they've had some something like this, maybe a lighter shade in the past. So I'm not sure if this is new or or not. But anyway, these are the ones I got. I didn't want all the other designs because I have so many already, and. One thing, another thing that caught my eye is these neon crayons. You get eight neon crayons. They are by Jot, and they're really bright fluorescent neon colors. And, uh, yeah, so I just thought, oh, these are fun. Might be fun to do a melting project with these, or if not, to color in a, a black page coloring book that I picked up once. Might be fun. So I got those. But definitely uh, for one of those crayon melt projects, that would be really fun. And, oh, some more of the Creativity ink. I got basically one, almost one of each thing that they had, except for the banners. Uh, I got some of the letters. The There are 64 gold alphabet letters. Uh, I can cut out stuff like this on my Cricut, but sometimes it's not worth the trouble and time so these are already pre-cut for me and I also got these cream and gold matte stacks so they're just little cut pieces of craft paper and cream colored paper with gold foil very cute the same size as pocket letters you know the the pockets and the pocket letters so that and that I already showed you. I got these tags as well. These ones are a little different from the other ones I showed you. They're a bit smaller. They come with a white and gold cord. You have 40 tags with craft and gold foil. And 
I picked up a couple more of the paint markers because, man, I think this is such a great deal. And, yeah, so I, I have such a collection of paint markers now. But, uh, yeah, I, I thought at that price I have to get some more. And I'm not very impressed with the calendar so far uh, this year. The only one that I thought was really pretty was this watercolor florals. It does have some nice quotes on it. So I got this one. And the other one I picked up was this one because it's a two-pack. And it also it has inspirational quotes. So when you get the smaller size calendar. So those are my 2019 calendars. I have to go to another Dollar Tree because I really wanted to get the desk pad calendar for next year. And this Dollar Tree I was at yesterday didn't have any. So, But they did have these magnetic weekly planners. And these are great to stick on the refrigerator to keep track of either your family member schedules. Or we like to use one of these for our meal planning. So, so it will be nice because the one we have now we've had for a while and it's kind of... You know, it's dingy looking, so I'll just change it for this new one. And I think that is that. And, oh, and the last thing I have to show you is I picked up these fringe poster borders. So it's really hard to, sh to see this. This is the shiny stuff. It's it's fringe. It's already like fringe like, and it's intended to decorate around poster boards and classrooms and I actually saw another youtuber make tassels from these and I thought oh that's so clever this reminds me of the tassels I I once made a video about making paper tassels and I was showing people how to cut the fringe to make the tassels I thought these are pretty good and they're shiny foily things so I thought oh these would be fun to make some more tassels and oh, a package finally the last item I have is this package of assorted glues very handy to uh, take to crops to travel around with so uh, I got this little package of the different types of glues that they sell at Dollar Tree and that is that for my Dollar Tree haul the very last day of July the very last Dollar Tree of July 2018 um, and I want to thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for supporting this channel. It means a lot to me. I really like it when you guys uh, give me comments and, and we can exchange uh, information and ideas. It's, it's really great. It's a great uh, little community that we have. So uh, please don't forget to like, uh, to comment, and share. And take care of yourself. Enjoy summer. And I will see you after the next video. Bye. Bye.